Welcome to my lecture. Today we are going to see how to use standing movement diagram to solve a problem in flywheel. Let me read the problem. The variation of crankshaft torque of a four cylinder petrol engine may be approximately represented by taking the torque as 0 for crank angles 0 degree and 180 degree and as 260 newton meter for crank angles 20 degree and 45 degree. The intermediate portions of the torque being straight lines. The cycle is being repeated in every half revolution. The average speed is 600 rpm. Supposing that the engine drives a machine requiring constant torque, determine the mass of the flywheel of radius of gyration 250 mm, which must be provided so that the total variation of the speed shall be 1%. Okay. So this is the given configuration of the tanning moment diagram. Okay. So let us see how it is constructed. Okay. So the for 0 degree and 180 degree, the total torque is 0. That means for 0 degree and 180 degree of the crank angle, the torque value is 0. So we have mark a point here at point 0 degree as well as 180 degree. Okay. Then the value is 260 Newton meter okay that means the torque value is 260 Newton meter for crank angles 20 degree and 45 degree so here at 20 degree and 45 degree we have mark a point which is corresponding to the 260 Newton meter and this value is 260 Newton meter okay so at these two points okay it is 260 Newton meter okay initially we have marked these two points that is 0 degree and at 180 degree the torque value is 0 and for 20 degree and 45 degree the torque value is 260 Newton meter okay the intermediate portions of the torque being straight lines okay so the point OA AB and BG are straight lines okay so by using straight line we have completed this standing moment diagram okay initially we have got just four points okay at this point and this point okay which represent zero torque and this point a and b which represents 260 newton meter torque for 20 degree and 45 degree respectively okay so by using these four points we have constructed the tanning moment diagram okay we have just connected these uh, points with straight lines okay this is how the data is provided okay so now we have just uh, roughly drawn this uh, T mean line, okay, just to for indication, okay. While solving the problem, we will exactly find out what is the value of T mean, okay. So as far as this problem is concerned, the T max is provided, that is 260 Newton meter, okay. So now let us see what are all the other data, okay. So speed is 600 rpm, and from that we can find out what is the angular speed that is omega is 2 pi n by 60 so the value is 62.83 radian per second and the radius of gyration value is given that is 250 mm we can convert that into meter okay which is equal to 0.25 meter okay and then the total variation of speed is given that is one person so it can be converted into 0 0.01 so we are going to calculate mass of the flywheel okay now let us see how to solve the problem. This is the tanning moment diagram for the given configuration. Okay. So the total work done for off revolution, which is equal to area of tanning moment diagram. Okay. So here we are provided data for off revolution that is for up to 180 degree. So the entire work done is equal to area of the tanning moment diagram. So that shaded area represent the area of the tanning moment diagram. Okay. So now how to find out this area of the tanning moment diagram. So the entire region represents OA, BG, OA, B, G. Okay. So we can just split the entire area into three different sections. Okay. The first one is a triangle and the second one is a rectangle and third one is another triangle. Okay. The first one represents the area of triangle OA, H. And the second area represents the area of rectangle HABK. 
and the third region represent area of KBG. So KBG which represents a triangle. Okay. So now we can easily find out the area of these individual regions. Okay. First let us take the region 1. Okay. So it is a triangle. So we know the area of the triangle is of BH. Okay. So of breadth value is 20 degree because this distance is 20 degree. But we have to convert that into radian. So multiplied by pi by 180 degree. Okay. Multiplied by height. H value is we know that the T max value is 260 Newton meter. Okay. So here is the point. Okay. We have marked this point as 260 Newton meter. So the height is 260. Okay. So of B is this distance. Okay. That is 20 degree. So we have to convert that into radian by multiplying it with pi by 180 and the height value is 260 okay because t max is 260 and the next region is this rectangle okay that is h a p k okay so breadth value is 45 degree minus 20 degree because we need to find this distance 45 degree minus 20 degree multiplied by pi by 180 and the height value is remains same okay it is 260 newton meter okay now let us calculate the area of the third region. So it is a triangle so of BH. So of breadth value is 180 degree minus 45 degree multiplied by pi by 180 multiplied by the height okay which is the value of T max 260 Newton meter okay. So now we can easily calculate these individual areas and finally we can add these things together to find the area of the tanning moment diagram which is equal to 465.13 newton meter and it is a work done during the half revolution okay now let us see how to use this work done formula to calculate the mean torque value okay so the another formula for work done is t mean times theta okay so theta is the angle tanned during the work done okay so work done for off revolution okay so theta value is going to be 180 degree okay theta value is 180 degree so but we have to substitute this value here in radian so what we need to do is 180 degree multiplied by pi by 180 degree so theta value is pi okay for this problem theta value is pi okay so the work done is 465.13 okay and the theta value is 5 okay so the t mean value is 148.05 newton meter so now we have calculated the t mean value that is 148.05 newton meter okay now let us see how to find out the maximum fluctuation of energy okay so the maximum fluctuation of energy is represented by the area which lies above the mean torque line okay because we know exactly the mean torque line okay it is 148.05 newton meter and also we know exactly what is the t max value okay so the area above the mean torque line represents the maximum fluctuation of energy okay so now we are going to calculate the area of this particular region okay so this entire region represents maximum fluctuation of energy okay so del e is area of da b c d a b c okay so here also uh, we have got three different regions okay so one is this triangle and another one is this rectangle and the third one is also a yeah, triangle okay so we have to find out the area of these individual sections okay so area of d a e which is a triangle area of e a b e f which is the a rectangle and area of FPC which is a triangle okay so if you want to find out these areas we must know these distance that is DE FC okay because as far as this rectangle is concerned we know all those data but for triangle we must know what is the value of DE and FC okay for that we are going to use the similar triangle concept okay so now let us see how to apply the similar triangle concept okay for finding de we need to apply similar triangle concept for these two 
triangles okay the first triangle one is the larger one that is o a h and another one is d a e okay so o a h and d a e are similar triangles so we are going to apply the ratio that means d e this distance which we need to know d e divided by o h okay the breadth of the larger triangle which is equal to a e that is the height of the smaller triangle and divided by a h which is the height of the larger triangle okay so let us see how to apply the similar triangle concept because we have got a larger triangle o a h in which a smaller triangle is located d a e we need to know the value of d e so we are applying the ratio d e divided by o h which is equal to a e divided by a h okay so now let us substitute these values so d e is equal to a e value can be found okay by doing this calculation t max minus t min because this is the height a e so t max is 260 t min is 148.05 divided by okay so this ah value ah value we know it is exactly the t max 260 and multiplied by this value oh so oh value is 20 multiplied by pi by 180 we need to convert this value into radian so this breadth value is 20 degree we need to convert that into radian so multiplied by pi by 180 so the de value is calculated as 0.15 radian okay so now we have calculated exactly what is this distance okay so it is 0.15 radian okay fine so we are going to apply the same concept for this triangles okay what is that k p g which one is larger one in which another smaller triangle is located that is f p c so both these triangles are similar triangle now let us see how to apply the ratio okay fc divided by kg okay fc divided by kg which is equal to pf this height divided by pk height of the larger triangle okay so now we can easily find out what is the value of fc okay fc is equal to pf pf value is calculated as t max minus t min okay 260 minus 148.05 and this pk value is exactly 260 newton meter and multiplied by this kg value okay kg value is here that is 180 minus 45 multiplied by pi by 180 okay so the fc value is 1.014 radian okay so this distance is calculated as 1.014 radian okay so now we will go to this part of finding the area of the individual regions 1 2 3 okay because now we have got all these data to calculate these areas okay first one area of this triangle da e okay that is of b h okay of breadth is we have calculated that as 0.15 radian and h is t max minus t min okay t max minus t min is exactly 1.95 newton meter so we have used this value here okay and the second region represents area of a rectangle okay so this is breadth value is 45 minus 20 multiplied by pi by 180 we need to convert that into radian okay 45 degree minus 20 degree and the height value is already we have calculated that as 1.95 okay and the area of the third region is here okay so it is a triangle so of pH of multiplied by this distance that is 1.014 radian fc value is 1.014 radian and multiplied by this height okay that is 1.95 okay so now we have found the areas of the individual elements finally by adding these three things together we have calculated exactly the maximum fluctuation of energy value that is 114 newton meter now let us see how to calculate the mass of the flywheel by using maximum fluctuation of energy okay we know that the maximum fluctuation of energy is mk square omega square cs okay in this relation we know exactly what is the del e value that is 114 and k value is already known 0.25 and omega value is already calculated 62.83 cs is given 0.01 so the only one which is remain unknown is the mass of the flywheel okay so the mass of the flywheel for the given configuration is 46.2 kg okay 
थैंक यू